they see how to solve the nice exponential equation. We know that Pythagorean triple, three, four, five, right? So, three squared plus four squared equals five squared. That means x equals two is a solution to the given equation. But does he have other solutions to answer this question? Both sides divided by five to the power of x. So we get three to the power of x divided by five to the power of x plus four to the power of x divided by five to the power of x equals one. We can write the left side as three over five to the power of x plus four over five to the power of x equals one. We denote that as one. And let f x denote the left side. So three over five to the power of x plus four over five to the power of x. And g x denote the right side. Finding the solutions of equation one is equivalent to finding the intersections of the two functions f x and g x. Now, this one is exponential function with base less than one. So it is decreasing, right? Similarly, the second one also decreasing. The sum of two decreasing functions is decreasing. Actually, we can grab it. So let's find some points on Earth. It is simple. So for example, when x equals zero, you know y equals two. When x equals one, y equals three over five plus four over five. So the seven over five, which is 1.4. When x equals two, y equals three square over five square plus four square over five square, which is 25 over 25. So which is one. Similarly, when x equals three, y equals 0 0.72a. Let's plot these points. So when x equals zero, y equals two. When x equals one, y equals 1.4. When x equals two, y equals one. When x equals three, y equals 0.72a, some point here. So you can see the graph of function fx would look like this one, not really accurate. So y equals fx. And this horizontal line is actually y equals gx. So you see, there's only one intersection, two, one. That means the given equation has a unique solution x equals 2. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.